Good morning, uh, uh, Professor Dweck. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Lorenza. Um, uh, first of all, I would like, um, can you explain us uh, briefly what is the difference between a fixed and a growth mindset? In your book, you talk about uh, people with a fixed mindset and people with a growth mind mindset. What are the differences, the main differences? Yes. When people are in a fixed mindset, they believe that their basic talents and abilities are just fixed traits carved in stone, you have a certain amount, and that's that. Mm -hmm. This mindset makes them afraid to try challenges and makes them give up easily in the face of setbacks because those setbacks and challenges mean they're not talented, they're not intelligent. But when people are in a growth mindset, they believe that talents and abilities can be developed. And they're developed by taking on challenges and sticking to things, even if you're having setbacks. So people in this mindset, well, they don't think everyone's the same or anyone can be Michael Jordan. Right. Uh, right. But they believe that everyone can develop. It makes them very... Um, hardy and resilient in trying to develop their abilities. Okay. So what are the results of a fixed mindset and a growth mindset? We have seen and others have seen in a great deal of research that people with a growth mindset do better. They achieve more, especially during times of challenge or times of transition. So if students are going to a new school or someone is starting a new job or someone just went from amateur sports to professional sports, mm -hmm. this is a, a time of great challenge. And um, how they cope with that challenge and whether they thrive in the face of that challenge has a lot to do with their mindsets. Mm -hmm. People with a growth mindset, it's a time of excitement and vigorous activity. And often for people with a fixed mindset, it's a threatening time. It's an anxious time. In your, I read in your book, Mindset, that uh, from the, the studies you made on people with a fixed and a growth mindset, the results uh, people have change uh, uh, a lot. So people with a growth mindset have much higher results. Yes, because people with a growth mindset have much higher results because they're willing to work on their weaknesses okay. and okay. overcome the obstacles. So one habit we found that people in a fixed mindset have is they avoid thinking about their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Um, they practice things that they already know how to do. Right. So if you have an athlete, even someone who's considered a very talented athlete, but that athlete has a weakness, in a fixed mindset, they will avoid thinking about it or working on it because it makes them feel untalented or... Um, uh, incompetent, right. but in a growth mindset, um, they think, well, this is standing in my way. I'm going to practice that hard thing every day until I master it. You can see how through this process, someone in a growth mindset will become more accomplished in the long run. We find in our research, after someone does poorly, um, we looked at pre-medical students. After they did poorly on a test, those with the growth mindset studied more, formed study groups, went for tutoring. But those with the fixed mindset tried to push it out of their minds so they wouldn't feel bad. Again, those with the growth mindset achieved significantly more. Right. 
So you talked about habits and in Novaxia we study habits. Yes. Um, can you mention a couple of other main habits that a person with a fixed mindset has compared to a person with a growth mindset? Yeah, so I talked about how um, they might have the habit of focusing on what they already know how to do. Mm -hmm. Another habit in a fixed mindset is you avoid people who are better than you mm. because they make you jealous or insecure. In a growth mindset, those are the people you seek out mm. because you think you can learn from them. You want to be with people who are better than you are um, so that you can figure out how can I get there and they can mentor you to help you figure that out. Okay. okay. Uh, last question. Um, imagine that a person uh, listening to this interview says, oh, I'm in a fixed mindset or a person is stuck in with the same results. Can you give yeah. her uh, some advice on how, uh, on a couple of habits she could take from getting from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset? Yes. So one thing to realize is that we're all sometimes in a fixed mindset. Mm -hmm. And we should listen carefully for that fixed mindset voice in our heads because it says things to us that hold us back. And um, so we might hear that fixed mindset voice say, this is going to be too hard for you. Don't do it. Stick with what you know. Mm -hmm. Or you might say, hear it say, um, stay away from that person. They'll make you look bad. Mm -hmm. Or um, it may say, if you make mistakes, everyone will think you're incompetent. So again, stick to what you know. The first step toward changing is hear that voice. Just listen to it. Don't judge it. We all have those thoughts. But then start talking back to it with a growth mindset voice. Mm -hmm. If I don't try a challenging thing, I'll never improve. If I don't learn about um, people who are better than me or uh, look at what they're doing, I won't improve. So deliberately take on the challenge. Set yourself a very specific goal. I'm not good at um, this or that. Then you say, yet. I'm not good at that yet. Mm -hmm. And you make a very specific plan about how you will practice, be it something in athletics or something in business. Choose that skill that you want to be better at and start taking steps. Listen to the voices in your head as you develop that new habit. And if you hear the fixed mindset voice making you anxious or fearful, talk back with the growth mindset voice. Okay. okay. Professor Dweck, thank you very much for being here with us today and congratulations for your book and uh, thank you again. You're very welcome.